I really don't need an alarm clock to awaken me. I wake up at 2.30 every morning. I get up, I say my devotions, then I'll eat. I will eat 10 egg whites, they're scrambled, 16 ounces of water, and a handful of walnuts. I have a certain song that I sing every morning. My poor husband has to hear that. Oh, I can't sit down. Got to keep a rolling like the rolling of the song. Oh, I can't sit down. Got to keep a rolling like the rolling of the song. Make me laugh. Today I am happy and free. Nothing in the world is troubling me. Oh, I'm on my way. My husband will say, You better get on your way, girl. <laughs> My name is Ernestine Shepherd. I am 77 years of age and I am a bodybuilder. I had a sister. She and I were so close to each other. If you saw one, you saw the other. She came to me one day and she said, gee, we're sitting around, we're like, couch potatoes, we need to do some exercise. And we decided that we wanted to take weight training. So we kept that going for a while. Finally, she came to me one day and she said, you know what we're going to do? She said, we're gonna be in the Guinness Book of World Records as two of the oldest female bodybuilders. And what's gonna happen we have something else, we'll be sisters. So we went on back and worked hard. Within a year's time, she said, if anything were to happen to me, I would want you to keep this up. She was having some kind of health problems, but I didn't know that she was at the time. She had a brain aneurysm. When she died, I went to pieces. I didn't want to do anything. I ended up with high blood pressure, panic attacks, acid reflux, depression. It was just an awful way to live. But finally, one day, my sister came to me in a dream, and she said, get up and do what I asked you to do. I didn't get up right away. It took me maybe a good two weeks after that. I made up my mind that I was going to fulfill the dream that my sister wanted. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get a big hand for this young lady. She was born in 1936, okay? Figure that out for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on Ernestine Shepard. After I did that show, I came in first place in my age category. It was maybe about a month later, my manager called me and he said, Guinness Book of World Records has called and said, yes, you are the oldest female competitive bodybuilder in the I do the same thing day in and day out. 
I eat the same way day in and day out. I drink four bottles of liquid egg whites a day. No high blood pressure medicine. No medicine for panic attacks. No medicine for acid reflux. And by me out running and walking, the depression and anxiety just left me. I do it because I have to practice what I preach. I can't tell anyone to do anything if I'm not doing it. I started my class with 10 people in the class. That class has grown. Some mornings, everybody can't get in the room. Then I was really shocked when the men said they too wanted to train with me. You know, I know what I can do, but I want to help the others. I am so inspired by her. And you know, I am 66 years old, just celebrated a birthday, and I feel like I'm 21. All right, man, look I like it too. I feel like I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> you see Miss Ernest and she's just going. And you're looking at her and you say, okay, well I'm 61 and she's, so you're like something inside of you is like, Rah! it's deeper than just coming to this class and working out. It's deeper. She made me want to live again mentally. The spirit of this woman grabbed me back. I bless her and honor her because she's the greatest woman on this earth. Most of the people in our community haven't done anything since gym in high school, you know. Uh, and now you see this many people in the room working out. I mean, you know, this doesn't usually happen. And as we go out into the communities, to churches, to, to the supermarket, wherever we go, we are examples of what she has put on the inside of us. That a lot of times we don't take time to put back and nurture our own selves. And that's so important because we, we impact the community so, so greatly. Not everybody wants to be a bodybuilder. Not everybody wants to be a runner. But find what you like to do. And I say to my senior ladies and the men, don't forget, age is nothing but a number and you can get fit.